Do you remember that moment when you first stumbled upon the name Mary Carlyle? Maybe it was in the flicker of an old black and white film, or perhaps you heard it whispered in hushed tones during a nostalgic conversation with a fellow classic movie enthusiast. Regardless of the circumstances, Mary Carlyle's name likely triggered a rush of memories, a connection to a bygone era of Hollywood glamour and grace. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into the world of Mary Carlyle. Did you know that she was born on February 3rd, 1914, in Boston, Massachusetts? A true star of the silver screen, she graced the Hollywood scene during the 1930s and 1940s, captivating audiences with her charm and talent. Mary appeared in over 60 films during her career, sharing the screen with legends like Bing Crosby and Shirley Temple. She was more than just a pretty face. Her acting prowess left an indelible mark on the era of classic cinema. But there's more to Mary Carlyle than her filmography. She was known for her enduring spirit and determination, attributes that carried her through the ups and downs of a demanding industry. Her journey through Hollywood's golden age is a testament to resilience and the pursuit of dreams. So, as you reflect on your earliest encounter with the name Mary Carlyle, let's remember the indelible mark she left on the world of entertainment. From the silver screen to the hearts of her fans, Mary's legacy continues to shine brightly. Brightly, 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 brightly. Mary Carlyle, a Hollywood starlet of the golden age, had a captivating journey from her early years to her political affiliations. Born into a religious family, she received her education in a convent in Back Bay, Boston, following her family's relocation when she was just six months old. Carlyle's cinematic career had an auspicious beginning. At the tender age of 14, while enjoying lunch with her mother at the Universal Studios canteen, she caught the eye of none other than studio executive Carl Liebel Jr. Her angelic appearance impressed Liebel, leading to an offer of a screen test. Though she successfully passed the test and began working as an extra at Universal, her youthful age raised concerns. A welfare officer intervened, recognizing her underage status, and insisted that she complete her schooling before continuing her acting pursuits. Beyond the silver screen, Mary Carlyle was known for her staunch political beliefs. Throughout her life, she remained a dedicated Democrat and exhibited unwavering support for Adlai Stevenson during the 1952 presidential election. Mary Carlyle's life story is a testament to the unpredictable turns that fate can take in Hollywood, from a chance encounter at a studio canteen to a lifelong commitment to her political ideals. Her journey reflects the essence of an era and the unique paths carved by those who graced the screen during Hollywood's heyday. Hollywood's heyday. Hollywood's heyday. Mary Carlyle, the last surviving member of the famed 1932 WAMPAS Baby Stars, passed away at the remarkable age of 104 in 2018. In a cohort of starlets that included names like Gloria Stewart, Dorothy Layton, and Ginger Rogers, Carlyle's longevity stood as a testament to her enduring spirit. Among her peers, she outlived notables like Dorothy Wilson, Alina Holm, and Tasha Mori. Born in Boston, Massachusetts, Mary Carlyle's journey to stardom began after she and her mother relocated to Los Angeles following her father's death. When she was just four years old, it was in the heart of Hollywood that her talent shone brightest. Over her career, she appeared in over 60 films, often as the charming girl-next-door type. One lesser-known but fascinating detail about Carlyle is her familial connection to film editor Grant Wydock, who undoubtedly influenced her journey in the world of cinema. Her career spanned from the early days of silent films through the golden age of Hollywood, and she was recognized as one of the era's most promising actresses. In an industry known for its fleeting fame and ephemeral stars, Mary Carlyle's longevity and contributions to Hollywood's rich history make her a notable figure whose legacy endures. Her story is a reminder of the enduring allure of the silver screen and her passing marked the end of an era. An era. An era. An era. Mary Carlyle, a luminary of Hollywood's golden era, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born on February 3, 1914, in Boston, Massachusetts, her journey to stardom was influenced by a familial connection to the world of film. Her mother's twin sister, Leida Whitehawk, was a film editor, a connection that may have ignited her fascination with the silver screen. Carlyle's rise to fame was meteoric, and she achieved a significant milestone in her career when she was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6679 Hollywood Boulevard on February 8, 1960. 
This honor recognized her enduring contributions to the world of cinema and cemented her legacy in the heart of Hollywood. Interestingly, Mary Carlyle's stage name itself was a tribute to her maternal grandmother, Mary Ella Carlyle. This choice reflected her deep-rooted connection to her family and showcased her appreciation for her heritage. Mary Carlyle's captivating presence and talent continue to be celebrated, reminding us of a bygone era of Hollywood glamour. Her association with film through her mother's twin sister, her Hollywood Walk of Fame recognition, and her homage to her grandmother and her stage name all contribute to her enduring legacy in the entertainment world. Mary Carlyle, a renowned actress of the golden age of Hollywood, achieved her major acting breakthrough when Paramount Pictures loaned her out to star in the 1933 musical comedy College Humor alongside the legendary Bing Crosby. This collaboration marked a turning point in her career, propelling her into the spotlight of the entertainment industry. Subsequently, she continued to grace the silver screen, albeit mainly in B-movies, where she shone as a leading lady in a variety of roles. One of the intriguing aspects of Mary Carlyle's life was her mysterious age. Although widely believed to have reached the remarkable age of 104, she chose not to confirm her birth date or age during her lifetime. This enigmatic approach added an aura of intrigue to her persona, leaving fans and critics guessing about her true age. In her later years, Mary Carlyle transitioned from the glamorous world of Hollywood to a different facet of the beauty industry. She assumed the role of manager at the prestigious Elizabeth Arden Salon in Beverly Hills, California. Her involvement in this high-end salon demonstrated her versatility and adaptability in an ever-changing world. Mary Carlyle's journey from her breakout role alongside Bing Crosby to her later career managing the Elizabeth Arden Salon reflects the multifaceted nature of her life. With her age shrouded in mystery, she remains an enigmatic figure in Hollywood history, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Mary Carlyle, a luminary of Hollywood's golden age, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born on February 3, 1914, in Boston, Massachusetts, Carlyle's journey in the world of film was marked by notable achievements, including her significant contributions as an actress and her unique path to stardom. One intriguing facet of Mary Carlyle's life was her introduction to the world of dance, which ultimately paved the way for her illustrious career in Hollywood. She was taught how to dance by none other than Anne Dvorak, an accomplished actress and dancer herself. This invaluable skill became a pivotal factor in her early success in the film industry. In 1923, at the tender age of nine, Mary Carlyle made her screen debut in the silent film Scaramouch. However, it was her dance talents that caught the attention of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. This connection led to her signing a studio contract with MGM, marking the beginning of her rise to fame. Over the years, she would go on to appear in numerous films, making her a beloved figure in the world of cinema. Despite her bustling career, Mary Carlyle also found love and family. She gave birth to her only child, a son named James Edward Blakely III, on June 15, 1944, in Los Angeles, California. The child's father was her husband, James Blakely. This personal milestone added depth to her life beyond the silver screen. Tragically, Mary Carlyle passed away at the age of 104. Upon her death, she was cremated, and her ashes were scattered in the Rose Garden at Westwood Memorial Park in Los Angeles, California. This serene resting place is a fitting tribute to the woman who charmed audiences with her talent and grace for decades. In conclusion, Mary Carlyle's journey in Hollywood was defined by her dance skills, her success at MGM, and her role as a loving mother. Her final resting place in the Rose Garden serves as a poignant reminder of her enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. Tainment. 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 Mary Carlyle, the acclaimed Hollywood actress of the 1930s and 1940s, made an indelible mark on the silver screen but her influence extended beyond her film career. While Mary's filmography featured numerous B-movies in which she often portrayed the leading lady, it was a pivotal moment in 1933 that propelled her into the limelight. Paramount Pictures loaned her to star alongside the legendary Bing Crosby and the musical comedy College Humor. This marked her major acting break and paved the way for a successful career in Tinseltown. Mary's talents weren't confined to the screen. She also made her political inclinations known. 
A lifelong Democrat, she was an ardent supporter of Adlai Stevenson during the 1952 presidential election. Her advocacy for Stevenson showcased her commitment to progressive ideals during a pivotal moment in American politics. Intriguingly, Mary's family tree held another connection to the film industry. Her mother's twin sister, Leda Whitehawk, worked as a film editor. This familial tie to the world of cinema undoubtedly influenced Mary's journey into acting. While Mary Carlyle's Hollywood career may be remembered for her appearances in B-movies, and her breakthrough in college humor. Her dedication to political causes and the film industry's roots within her family demonstrate the multifaceted nature of her life. Her life. Her life. Her life. As we draw the curtains on this tribute to the remarkable Mary Carlyle, we invite you to pause and reflect upon your own unique connection with this luminous star of the silver screen. Her performances have woven themselves into the tapestry of cinematic history, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of countless admirers. Perhaps you remember the first time you were captivated by her enchanting presence on screen, the way she effortlessly transported you to distant worlds and eras with her talent. Or maybe it was a specific character or film of hers that resonated deeply with you, leaving an enduring impression on your cinematic journey. Now is the time to share those cherished memories, those moments when Mary Carlyle's performances stirred your emotions and kindled your passion for the magic of cinema. Your words have the power to keep her legacy alive, to ensure that her contributions to entertainment continue to inspire generations to come. In celebrating Mary Carlyle, we celebrate the art of storytelling, the power of cinema, and the enduring impact of a truly gifted artist. We extend our heartfelt appreciation to you for joining us in this reflection and for honoring Mary Carlyle's extraordinary contributions to the world of entertainment. Thank you for your time, your interest, and your devotion to the Silver Screen's timeless luminaries. Mary Carlyle's legacy lives on through each of us and the stories we share and the memories we hold dear.